Hello and welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper and today we're going to be installing a catback exhaust on the 04 Viper. Today we're doing the first modification to the 2004 Dodge Viper I recently acquired, and that is a catback exhaust. Now this catback exhaust is from Borla. It says it's stainless steel, so I guess we'll find out how stainless it really is. But one of the big perks to this is it can be installed using the factory crossover piping or without it. Now for those of you not familiar with the Viper, there's actually a ton of extra exhaust under the car that most people don't realize is there. The way the car looks is as though the side pipes run straight down from the engine and out the corners beside each door for the passengers, but that's not actually the case. The piping actually runs all the way down the sills, crosses over behind the passenger compartment, and comes back to those side exits. So there's actually like an extra 20 pounds of exhaust back there just to basically fit an H pipe in there to balance out the exhaust note. I would much rather have a less balanced exhaust note and save the 20 pounds Plus, this should actually lower the temperature of the door sills, which would be a huge bonus if people aren't burning themselves on the sides of the car. Now, what this can also do is hopefully improve the exhaust note to be a little more aggressive because there's a lot less dampening happening to the rumble. So I'm hoping that it makes it feel a little more muscle car-y and a little less weed whackery when I'm driving it around. So let's go ahead, take a look at where we're starting and try to get some work done. Now, before I get to installing the exhaust on the Viper, the first thing I want to do is check to see what the decibel level is with the factory exhaust on a dead cold start because that'll be a pretty good indication of how much louder the Borla system is. So let me go find my decibel meter and see if we can't get some readings.
So the Borla exhaust is installed on the 04 Viper and you've seen the results. Now I'm not using the crossover pipe at the back, I just installed them right on the sides. I wanted the weight savings of getting rid of all that. So we'll see how the sound wears on me after a while. Really, the only difference is the fact that you're losing that balancing tube between the two that essentially made it an H pipe. But I just really, for the sound difference, couldn't stand having all that extra weight in the car. Unfortunately, the hardest part of this whole project has been putting on the sideboards for the car because they're so finicky and the front two studs are almost impossible to get to. But I get to do it again because I accidentally let the one tab overlap in the front and now it's not installed correctly. So I get to do it over again. You guys don't have to watch that. If you have any questions about this particular project, please leave them in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.